Live from Oscars in downtown Palm Springs, California, it's the Mark and Tony Show, starring Mark Pantera and Tony Pomponia. Tonight's guest, country singer and songwriter Brian Scott, singer, entertainer Andy Kahn. Now, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the stars of our show, Mark and Tony. Welcome to Oscars and, of course, the Mark and Tony Show. What a crowd, what a crowd. I love the crowd. It's always a good crowd. Oh, speaking the of the crowd. crowd, speaking about everything, yeah. What about this gorgeous weather? Oh my Audience, goodness. you love the weather? Yeah. What would you rather be in the Midwest or East Coast? What about being in the Palm Springs area? How about that? It's beautiful yeah, weather. weather. All the entertainers come out, all the singers. We got That's a right. great lineup tonight. And of course, the tennis is going on right now. At the Consid tennis gardens. Yep. Considered the fifth major out here over at Indian Springs. Yep. So. Uh, hopefully, hopefully somebody or all of you get a chance to go to the tennis gardens to see what's going on over there. And uh, I, I, it's it's been it's, weather's been great. Everything's been good. Great so what's going on with you? Well, you know we've had a great week. Yeah. What about when we met the gals from Knott's Landing? How about that? That was great. That was oh, a fantastic wow. evening. Oh. And I have to say, all oh, three of the ladies were perfect. They were very friendly. They were very very nice. Very cordial. Yep. This is Mark Joe Van Ark. Tony, I had to make sure Tony had a little drool coming off the side of his face when he saw Donna Mills. Thank you. This is Mark and Tony. The Mark and Tony show. Good. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming out. Nice to meet you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We walk in. You go waltzing in, and you're going. Yeah, everybody's going to think I'm Richard Gere. <laughs> and what happens? Joan Van Hart goes to me. I know you from somewhere. <laughs> That's it. I, I went home. And I'm going like this. <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, we got a great show this evening. Of course, we have a gentleman that uh, Tony and I have yes. had the opportunity of having on the show and listening to before. Yep. Um, he's a great entertainer. He's a great singer, perfect, powerful voice. Yes. Mr. Brian Scott. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Brian Scott. I can tell you got your eye on this whole cowboy. I can tell you never had one for your own. Thinking that you found one, but you've never been around one. Might be kind of fun to take me home. You giggle every time when I say it's man. I get this feeling if I held you tight. You be seeing his and hers, buckles, boots, and spurs, but that's the feeling you get over and over now. What you gonna do with a cowboy if that old rooster crows it on? Lying there instead, getting out of bed, putting on his boots and getting gone. What you gonna do if he says, honey, I gotta have a mind to stay. What you gonna do with a cowboy if you don't saddle up and ride away? Tell it takes a certain kind of woman To put up with the kind of life you need Cause his boots are always muddy His beard ringing muddy So camp out on the couch, never leave Don't ever think you're even gonna change him You'd be better off to try to roll away Cause what he is is what he's got He can't be what he's not And honey, you can't hide him from your friends what you gonna do with a cowboy If that old rooster crows at dawn He's lying there instead of getting out of bed Putting on his boots and getting gone What you gonna do if he says, honey I gotta have a mind to stay What you gonna do with a cowboy If he don't saddle up I think it was fantastic, but tell the audience, where are you performing right now? Because I think the audience would love to see you some more. Absolutely, guys. I'm uh, playing at Pete's Hideaway every Wednesday and Saturday, 7 to 10. Also at PS Air Bar on Thursdays, uh, 7 to 9. So you can come out and check it out. Well, fantastic. Well, in the meantime, take it away. All Stage right. is yours. One Sounds more good. song. 
How about that? Maybe two. Maybe oh, no. two. Yeah. We'll just keep two it going. Oh, matter of yeah. fact, just right. play six. <laughs> you know what? We're going we're to go in the back. You just take as much time as you want. Take it away. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. The girls rest in the dark of night. Lying next to you, your warm embrace felt so light. On the day that I first met you, was a dream come true. All I had was a handful of memories, driving down this lonely street without you. Red light, it's gone from green to yellow. It's red again. Red light, just like the colors and the patterns of my life. Can we stop these wheels from turning? Put an end to what's been heard. All my yesterday. Tomorrow's are gone tonight Yeah, all I see is one more red light If I got down on my knees Would it be a star? I need one more chance To show you what's in my heart I lose your love Now I'm standing all alone In the house that we once called our own Red light, it's gone Unique Boutique, located in beautiful downtown Palm Springs, is for women who are not afraid to attract attention. Our clothing is feminine, flirty, fun, and fabulous. Get the latest look. Large selection of jewelry, hats, and much more. Personalized service inspires our customers to keep coming back. Kimball's Boutique, across from the Hyde in beautiful Palm Springs. We look forward to having you shop with us. And don't forget to mention the Mark and Tony Show for your 20% discount on your purchase. The saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. At GRA's Visions, we create photography that speaks volumes and comes across loud and clear. Specializing in beautiful portraiture, we also offer photographic excellence from corporate to candid, in banquets or backyards, and from formal to fun. GRA's Visions is the only real answer to your photographic needs. So if you want it to look great, call 760-218-1938.
Hi, I'm Mark Lantero. And I'm Tony Pomponio. Tune in every Thursday at 1 o'clock on Spectrum Fox 11 or Channel 33 on the Dish and Direct TV Network. Music, comedy, interesting interviews every week on the Mark and Tony Show. Be there! This gentleman has toured all over the country in the 70s with the Turtles, a great time in our lives. And also, he's written a book, The Most Famous Musician You Never Heard. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andy Kahn. Tell you about my baby. She come around about a five foot four from her head to the ground. It's a great, great song. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, got, I got to tell you, Tony and I are very pl privileged to have you here tonight. Thank you. Thank um, you very much. We're going to ask a few questions of you. I'm going to let Tony take the lead on this because he's got a, a list of them. Okay. Tony Thanks left me with just one, but he's got he's got like ten. Okay. I, I did that on purpose because he does all the talk usually, so we're going <laughs> to set him aside. It's going to be no, that, no. I'm just joking. I so joke Tony, around a lot. Take it away, please. And I'm going to do that. So Andy, you know what? You're an awesome guy. I, such a privilege to meet you. Not long ago. And I didn't even know you were here in the desert, man. And I'm going to tell you something. We are, you are a treasure. I mean, some of the things I've read about you. How about that, folks? Thank you, audience. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you. So let's start here, okay? Because yes. I want you to just let, let us, let's, we got eight or so minutes. Just tell us everything you want to tell us. Well, I'm going to start with this. Tell us about your book. Okay, the book. It's called The Most Famous Musician You Never Heard Of. <laughs> and uh, there are many, many famous musicians we all never heard of. So uh, I was very fortunate uh, to save all my archives, all of my calendars from the early 60s, all of the uh, uh, photos and tapes and records and uh, everything. So I, I said to myself, my God, look at all the stuff I got. I should make a book. Smart move. So I spent four years scanning all the pictures in the book I mean, the book is just... I was just going to pick it up, so yeah. not just scanning. <laughs> yeah, this it's is just... A, this is what we would call a coffee table book. Yeah, it's a coffee yeah. table there book. There is a lot of photos, a lot of history, <laughs> a lot of things that Andy's been involved in with people and personalities. Oh, God, like, you know, we're talking about Ringo Starr. I mean, he's fanning through the pages, and he's cooling yeah. the stage off with all the with all the pages right now. What made you do this? I mean, I mean, what made you save all this stuff? Was it just by accident or you just had a plan? My, my whole life I've been a pack rat. 
I save everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, everything's in my house, and luckily it's organized, so I know how to get to everything. Wow. So uh, I, I put together this book, and every picture tells a story. Okay. So, uh, and I saved my calendars, you know, uh, so I was able to refer back to exactly what happened when that picture was taken and uh, get all the uh, info. And uh, I scanned all the pictures and stuff and put the book together. And I was amazed at how many people I was associated with. You're very detailed. Maybe that's the best way yeah. of putting this right yes. now. I want the audience to know where can they get this yeah, book? Before we because move on. Before oh. we move on. Because I, I think if the audience could see this book and see the, it's a history book. And <laughs> the people that Andy's been with, I mean, I can't even go through the litany of the list of all of the personalities. Look at that smile, huh? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> let the audience know where they can find this, please. Okay, I self-publish on Amazon. So uh, that's the main place to buy the book. Uh, there's a website called Best Classic Bands, and they have a sample chapter from the book with Harry Nielsen and Ringo Starr and Timothy Leary and Joe Walsh and... Uh, bunch of others. Oh my God, Joe uh, Walsh. So, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> or if you just get on your cell phone and Google the most famous musician you've never heard of, it'll pop right up. You know, so, we'll put it on our Facebook and stuff. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, we're yeah. going to help yeah. you out yeah, with our, that too. Mark, yeah, so, good sure. call, Tony. Yeah. So you can buy the book from Amazon or you can buy from me and I'll autograph it. Moving on, let's talk about your radio show. Oh, yes. Uh, KPSF Studio 100. There you go. You got some fans in, in, in the crowd here. I think it's 1200 AM, right? And this okay, is in the Palm so, Springs area, correct? Yes. Yep. We have our program director, Rick Rule, here. Okay. Awesome. And, Very good. And Rick. Rick. Of Rick. Course, there uh, you go. Rick's in the audience. <laughs> yes. Waving to us all. And, now, uh, is it a talk show format or is it just strictly music? Well, uh, my show is 9 p.m. every Saturday night and it's okay. all about the book. Okay. So it's called Music from the Book. And it's all the music from the book. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, it's coming out good. I've done a couple of shows so far, and it's good really good. Good for you. Yeah, awesome, and I know man. more to come. So, good. Yes. so we're going to tune in, okay? Yes, yes awesome. absolutely. So we have a little, little something, a little fun thing here. Something about Chubby Checker chasing you down a hallway. <laughs> What's that all about? Yeah, uh, we, uh, the Turtles, <laughs> Flo and Eddie and the Dirtle Turtles, uh, did a concert uh, in Las Vegas <laughs> with. Uh, Felix Cavalieri of the Rascals yeah. and Chubby Checker. And it, uh, it, it, the concert went really great and everybody sounded terrific. And the next morning in the hotel lobby, uh, we're all checking out and stuff. And uh, Chubby Checker was with his mother <laughs> and she was in a wheelchair. Yeah. So way down the hallway, there's Chubby Checker and I'm checking out at the counter and he looks at me and with this maniacal, crazy look. <laughs> and then he takes his mom in the wheelchair, full speed down the hallway, <laughs> running right toward me and just missed me. And they were both laughing. The, you know, him and his mom were <laughs> laughing. So I almost got run over by Chubby Checker. And did he know who you were? Or, I mean, what, yeah, he recognized that? me from the gig, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's, that's the kind How of funny there, that? There's a lot of things, but I, I would like the audience to know because <laughs> It's not just music that you're you're working with. Obviously, you were directing with the Grammys, American Bandstand. If I'm not, I was the music director for music both. Music director. How about yeah. that? So How about that, folks? I, I, I would like Andy to talk. Thank you. Please give it up for him, Sonny. Give it up. There you go. Um, <laughs> Favorite I would line. Like, I would like. Yeah, I would like the audience to really realize that Andy is not just a musician and playing instruments. Andy, obviously, director and. You wear a lot of different hats, so if you would, let the audience know about American Bandstand and the Grammys, because sure. those are two big platforms that you've been involved with. Yeah, I was very fortunate to get a job playing uh, Hammond organ for Little Richard, and uh, we toured Australia, and we toured, you know, all over the United States, and then uh, oh, we did the uh, Grammys with Chuck Berry, so uh, the uh, producer of the, the music director of the Grammys his name was Ray Charles, but it wasn't the Ray Charles we know. So he said, we want Little Richard and Chuck Berry to do their hits, but they want to change the lyrics. So instead of uh, Tutti Frutti Ah Rudy, it's Al Green, he's clean. Oh, geez. So we had a little rehearsal, so I'm in this small room on an upright piano, and Little Richard here and Chuck Berry there. 
and just the three of us rehearsing their hits. How cool is that? And, That's uh, just a lot of history right there with Oh, itself. my God. Well, you know, the reason I became a musician was because of the Beatles. Ah, Ringo and, Starr. And, You've met Ringo of Starr. Of course, yeah. of course. And uh, uh, Paul McCartney idolized Little Richard and John Lennon idolized Chuck Berry. So it was like a full circle. Here I am sitting in a room with their idols. Uh, how about so, that? So wow. uh, the show went pretty good, except for the mic went out. <laughs> so R Little Richard singing and nothing happened. And then Chuck started to sing and his mic went out. So we did the best we could. I'll be but, darned. Uh, those Stevie, little things that happen, you know? Yeah, Stevie wow. Wonder won the award for Ain't Too su Superstitious. I'll be darned. Are yeah. a lot of those tidbits here in the book? They're all in the book. If you can just give one more excerpt from the book that you feel that you'd love to let the audience know that they may not know. Just a little one. Not, you know, just don't give the whole book away, but just a little one. Yeah. Okay, here's a little one. Uh, <laughs> I became really good friends with Harry Nielsen. And uh, we recorded 35 songs in my living room that were never published. Oh, wow. God. Until uh, Mark Hudson just published some of them. But uh, what, what had happened was... Uh, he invited Ringo Starr over to my living room to do some children's stories. So um, it's a premonition I had back in 1968 when I moved to California. I was sitting playing the piano and I had a premonition that a beetle was in my house. Yeah. And he, and he sat next to me and he took his shoes off. I'll be there. So when Ringo Starr came over to my house, it was 100 degrees out, it was really hot, and I had to turn off the air conditioner so the dialogue wouldn't get picked up on the mic. Right. And Ringo sat right next to me and he took his shoes off. Just relax. So there you go. That was Here's amazing. A funny story. Okay, so, Mark. Everybody, I, I would like you all to give another, keep the applause going for Andy <laughs> Cotton because uh, he was a special guest here this evening. We've had, I, I have to say, Tony and I have been very privileged with all the different entertainers and, and people that we've had on the show. So, Andy, we want to thank you so much for coming on. Absolutely, tonight. Andy. I love your show, guys. And please get Andy's book. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mark Lanchero. And I'm Tony Pomponio. We're here to tell you, if you missed the show on Thursdays, no worries. You can catch a show on all of our previous shows on YouTube 24-7. Just go to the YouTube search bar and type in The Mark and Tony Show. The Mark and Tony Show. Be there. Kimball's Unique Boutique, located in beautiful downtown Palm Springs, is for women who are not afraid to attract attention. Our clothing is feminine, flirty, fun, and fabulous. Get the latest look. Large selection of jewelry, hats, and much more. Personalized service inspires our customers to keep coming back. Kimball's Boutique, across from the Hyde in beautiful Palm Springs. We look forward to having you shop with us, and don't forget to mention The Mark and Tony Show for your 20% discount on your purchase. The saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. At GRA's Visions, we create photography that speaks volumes and comes across loud and clear. Specializing in beautiful portraiture, we also offer photographic excellence from corporate to candid, in banquets or backyards, and from formal to fun. GRA's Visions is the only real answer to your photographic needs. So if you want it to look great, call 760-218-1938. Welcome back, everybody, to Oscars and the Mark and Tony Show. We have a right. special treat, Tony. Oh. Special treat. Yes, sir. Special treat, not that. Oh. Special treat, we have Brian Scott. He is going to sing another one of his songs. So, are you ready? Yes. Brian, Scott. take it away. <laughs> this old highway's getting younger. Seems there ain't no inside Sleep would be best But I just can't afford to rest Gotta ride in Denver tomorrow night Draw the house but no one answer For the last two weeks no one's been home Yes, it's true with me To tell the truth you just can't see What's kept the woman holding on this long And the white line's getting longer And the saddle's getting cold And I'm much too young to feel this damn old Set all my cards are on the table Damn old Lord, I'm much too young 
Bichon's getting younger Double Bronx, you know I came to call Worn out tape, Chris to do Lonely women and bad boots Seem to be the only friend I've left at all And as you can see in the third chair over here, we have our MC, our, our singer extraordinaire, Mr. Mark Antonelli, yeah. wearing his, wearing another fancy pair of shoes. I hope Mark just keeps us going every week. He kind of styles us with a new pair of shoes. That's it. You so, know Mark, what? what's going on? What? Not a whole lot. We've got a, uh, we got a, a, a new uh, residency, solo residency, at an uh, Indian Wells Resort Hotel. All right. Yes. So Very nice. That has been uh, extended through the summer and also into next season as, as well, well in, into the foreseeable uh, future. Future. Well, Wonderful. congratulations. So the format of songs? Um, uh, we're running the gauntlet from uh, icons from David Foster, okay. uh, Michael Buble, uh, Josh Groban, and Maestro. Andrea Bocelli. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. You know, so everybody, take a look. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. You know what? I, I saw a little clip on Andres Bocelli the other day on TV when he was performing. Yeah. And I saw you in the back row, by the way, over there. With the <laughs> mic I was looking for the microphone. Yeah. And I saw the microphone that's over what that's, that's where the, that's the where mark was. That's where the X was. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah stopped, thank you. Man. I put it on stop on my TV. Dude, that's I went to him. Fran and go, hold on one second. There is Mark Antonelli, our boy. <laughs> well, if you haven't had a chance to hear Mark sing, you, you need to do yourself a favor because... There are voices, and then there's Mark's voice. Yes, and, absolutely. Um, he, it, it's, I, I'm speechless with him because he can really, for a little guy, he really pushes <laughs> that voice out there. I don't know. I want to mess mean, with him. I, <laughs> so he does a fantastic job. Listen, and of course, the most important thing, the Tre Amici. That's it. Right? The Tre exactly. Amici. That's right. right. We're the here. Tre Amici. And you can catch the Tre Amici's every Thursday on the Fox <laughs> Network at 1 p.m. Channel right. 11. Frontier is channel eight, and if you have the dish, it's channel 33. So yes. we, we want to make, oh, and of course, if you want to just view us on YouTube, please, because we're always there. But um, the three of us very much appreciate that yes, everybody's watching the show. Yep. As we always close every show, fellas, what do we always say? See you next week! Hey! <laughs>